i am working here as a research scientist additional position in, uh, as a research scientist in uh, arubadi medical college center for biomedical research so today we are going to see the topic on uh, IRT natural products and drug discovery prospects. So, before going into the topics, uh, I want to share about the introduction part. So, our contents, our slide contents include introduction, drug development, natural products, and what is the role of the natural products in the drug development, and its classification of natural products, conclusion, and reference. So, I want to say what is drug. So drug is nothing but a chemical substance administered to the person or animal to cure the disease. This is called a drug. So nowadays, now in the pandemic situation, the COVID-19, right? We are facing the heavy difficulties and all now we are facing so much pandemic situation regarding COVID now. So, so now everybody are seeing some news and we are getting updates regarding some bioactive products. For example, Siddha, Ayurveda, Ayurveda, like that we are focusing on medicine now. So we are just focusing to get some medicines from other natural products. So now the world, the entire world is focusing on natural products only. So the drug is not only for the harmful for the human beings, it is also for the to cure the some of the pandemic disease also it is now is essence essence for our field so what are the three requirements for the approval of a new drug i want to say what are the three requirements first whether drug is safe or not and whether it is effective in treating the disease how it can be manufactured correctly how, how it can be reproductively at each time so it's all the three things are linked to how does a new drug go from a beaker to a bottle. This is very, very important. From the laboratory side, from the laboratory side to marketing field, how it is going. Before that, when you're going for the drug discovery or drug designs, the drug discovery includes uh, nearly five. What is One is a concept, another is a mechanism, and third one is a serious biological assay, and fourth one is a screening the heat identification, and fifth one is a in vivo proof of concept in animals and therapeutic index for example so well before going for the concept uh, we, uh, for the drug discovery what we need we need the natural resources so natural resources is one of the important concept for the drug discovery number two if you choose any drug from the natural resources for example uh, we are eating some spinach and we are eating some of the um, moranga and also we are eating some of the natural products not vegetables and leaves so if you want to know if you choose the drug or any natural substance for the drug discovery we have to know the mechanism mechanism is whether it will be a cancer whether it will be a diabetic or whether it will be antiviral activities so next is we have to know that some biological assay whether if you choose the drug what is the biological activity we are focusing on? Next one is a screening of heat identification. How we can say for this process, for identification means, for example, I am focusing on anti-cancer or I am focusing on the anti-diabetic means, you have to focus whether your natural products or your natural compounds will hit for the anti-diabetic. That you should be very clear. And after all the four things over, you have to prove in the animal model as well as both as in a cell culture model. That in the uh, animal model means we are doing in a mice. But in most cases in China, now we are focusing on a zebra fish. Zebra fish is one of the good model for the animals. For animals, it means mice. So now we are focusing on zebra because zebra fish contains 96% of our gene polymorphisms are fully focusing on the zebra fish gene. So now in China and also Canada and also in America also, now they are not doing in animals. They are doing in the zebra fish models. So now the development begins, depend upon this discussion of five, five concepts and it's made put into the molecule to the phase one clinicals. When you follow this five, then only we can go for the phase one clinical trials. So what is a drug development? So drug development is nothing but the process of bringing a new drug to the market. So it's nothing but process of bringing a new drug to the market. Once if you find a lead compound through the process of disc discovery, this whole process is called a 
drug development how it is come from it is come from the natural products for example i am saying that uh, all the natural green leaves what we are eating in our life it is all for the it is it is all contain bioactive compounds they are all contain bioactive compounds for example vegetables also it is contain some bioactive compounds so based upon drug discovery we all know that uh, some unknown plants some unknown things uh, with not not eatable by the human i mean not utilized by the human can be utilized as a drug for example i can say one example in our marine environment ecosystem nearly 78 percentage is fully focusing on bio resources of bioactive compounds example i can say sp uh, sponges marine sponges marine fishes and also marine grasses so this all contain so much of bioactive compounds recently now in shantang in shantang university in china also and also in the wellington university i can say that i am saying some clue to that in covid for the covid from the uh, sponges they are extracting some of the secondary metabolites to cure about the to to have a cure curable activities on the covid but it is still in this process but recently in our india the bharat uh, from the hyderabad from uh, the bharat company from the hyderabad they have launched uh, the covid medicines uh, that utility which is uh, approved by the icmr and also from the uh, our government of india so this all the sources are coming from the marine resources so this is important points i am pointing out that i am saying one example so all over the world we are containing so many of the natural products which contain the biological active compounds so now many medicines are either obtained directly from the natural resources or we can develop from the lead compound i told that no we are taking some of the plants that is eatable by the human beings also contain some secondary metabolites phytochemicals flavonoids steroids everything some of the cases which are not utilized by the human being or i mean we are not taking the food that can be also can obtain as can contain some of the lead compound how the lead compound can be obtained from the natural resources means we are going to see the phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 clinical trials so how the new drugs are discovered from the natural products first these are the following things very very important i can say that if you are choosing some of the plant or some of the natural resources we have to know about the pre knowledge before if you are doing for the research or if you are going for the studies for example you have field or master or you are going to do the post doc or a phd degree if you want to choose the sample you have to know the pre knowledge of the sample number one i can say that if you are collecting the samples one of the important things for the research is for all the seasons the plant material or your natural resources should be available if you want to success in your research as a high peak if you go for the patent means one of the important thing is sample resources and also pre knowledge about this uh, about your sample and next is crude extract of your natural resources when you get the crude extract you have to go for the some of the pre clinical assay for example in vitro assays antimicrobial assays and uh, elisa assays so if you get the good result on the screening assay you have to go for the separation by using a hplc or hptlc for hplc you can go for proteins or pro uh, peptides or some other compounds for hptlc you can go for amino acid analysis and also uh, from the amino acid analysis and also protein and peptide you have to link with the library that is called malditaf so if you get some of the compound or known compound or unknown compound you have to compare with your library because when you are doing some research you can get so many of peaks so many of compounds so many of known compounds unknown compounds but particularly known compounds which is already reported in the world wide cannot be can, cannot be again reported in your sample so you have to focus on a new compound that new compound you have to match it with the library that is called malditaf linked with the chemical bonds chemical structure and nmr so this all come under the purification process after finding a new compound from the library that is called you are finding the new neat molecule that is called a new drug discovery so from the new drug process how what are the important things means number one is a 
feed knowledge number 2 is uh, collecting the source on after separation from the hplc or hptlc you have to compare it with your source with your library that is uh, if you find a new compound that is a new discovery for all this hundred after the process is over you have to go for the clinical trials that is called phase 1 2 and 3 so when you face the phase 1 2 and 3 then only the final product is called a marketing phase so now i can say one example now i am telling that now we are focusing on pandemic covid i am comparing the i am comparing the situation current situation with my with my presentation so for the covid world wide they are doing some research they are giving some of the promising result regarding the some products or remdesivir flumesivir and the hydrochloroquine if these are the tablets can be used for to treat the uh, corona but in cases there is no clinical approval because you know that 2000 now 2019 we are focusing on this pandemic situations in 2002 mers in 2009 in china also they having sars that is one sars one so in this cases only they followed the mers clinical uh, clinical approach treatment that is called remdesivir now uh, the, the the same process only we are focusing on the covid 2 but since we are struggling to find the new clinical trials why i am saying that means now i, uh, I have sent some example no the bharat biotech from the hyderabad they have launched a new medicine now it is going for the clinical trials so in the short duration they have just gone through all the screening now it is coming for the screening phases soon it will be maybe after two months it will come for the human trial for the covid 19 so how the natural products can be obtained what are the process the first process is isolation and purification so isolation purification can be done only in hplc hp hplc uplc i mean high, high pressure liquid chromatography so in isolation purifications the lead compound is present in the mixture of compounds it will it is obtained in the it is present in the mixture of compounds whether it will obtain from the natural or it obtain from the synthetic source and it can be purified and isolated and the, the second process when you are done the purification and isolation process if you have the some lead, new lead compound then you can go for the structural determination that is called a nmr ir x ray uh, yeah, x ray x ray and another one is a uh, crystallography sir so nmr you can find the structure of your compound ir can give the ir uh, infrared uh, structure of the compounds so follow by following this instrumentation and techniques you can say that what's the lead compound you find here for the new discovery and for all this uh, process one of the main process is a uh, herbal medicines the herbal medicines you all know that i already while i'm starting the my our presentation I told that what we are eating daily as a green leaves that is the herbal medicines which are obtained from the from the herbal medicine only the drugs and lead compounds can be isolated from the natural resources this is a basic method because ayurveda and siddhas are focusing on that only so why the natural products okay sir why we are choosing a natural products why you are not choosing in the non natural product for example some of the non lead compounds right i will say some example so first i will come to the why we are choosing the natural products first one is a structural diversity and second one is a apparently unlimited quantity and third one is a evaluation against challenges and the fourth one is a potency uh, potency and fifth one is a safety and efficiency you know that structural diversity i told that now we have to find the diversity of the, your natural products for all the seasons you have to know whether your sample is be available or not then apparently it is unlimited you have to do the research whatever at the time if you want to choose at summer if you want to do at the winter that time also you have to have your sample quantity so for this case and all you have to have know the pre knowledge that is very very important pre knowledge you have to collect the sample when you have to collect the sample how to plan your work how to do your research work according to your uh, according to your findings uh, if you get any false result how to be rectify that so this and all we have to come under the natural products i mean i am saying about methyl methodology then again is evaluation against challenges then for the potency whether it is having the potent of the product then another is the safety for example if you are choose for the natural product it is safety and efficiency also so there will be no any 
problem in regarding the uh, pattern everything and all so that's only all the persons are choosing only the natural products in cases in china and the japan also they are using some green tea right in india also we are using green tea but by, for in china and uh, japan they are usually they are using only the green leaves so that's only they are very active and the uh, and the human and the, the blood circulation is also very very fast due to their taking of the green tea in china and japan but i am saying some uh, a good example that in future also the persons who are taking the coffee or tea i think we have to neglect because i am saying the but the natural products of the green leaves contains uh, so many of uh, flavonoids alkanoids steroids entirely called bioactive compounds natural products okay what are the different stages for the drug discovery number 1 target identification target validation assay development and third uh, another one is a screening and hits to uh, uh, hits to leads and lead optimization and proof of concept so these are the discovery stages so without this you can't able to say this is a drug or not so okay come to the drug discovery how to identify to identify the compounds to treat the disease what are the steps the first one lead identification how the lead identification occurs means just identifying the compounds from the natural resources for our, through the for, for, through the chemical chemistry or some of the chemical methods to identify the compounds chemical method means we can use for the non chemical method also and we can use some of the persons are using a instrumentation method so these are the following methods are used for the lead identification and second one is a early safety evaluation you have to understand the effect of the lead compound whether in animal models or in other in human models for this cases and all this is called pre clinical assay so if you are if you just say it is a, a drug discovery i said good drug for the human conception means you have to confirm with the, your lead compound or your 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 drug in animal models or in a human models so in most cases now in china or in other abroad countries they are most focusedly focusing on bioinformatics then now they are just identifying the drugs through the nmr and they are directly going for the in silico methods and just giving the uh, gene knockout method docking method to know the whether this compound or any other structural like new compounds will have the activity in any other uh, substance for example substance means we can focus if you are, if you are focusing an antiviral they will show whether the compound will have any activity in anti cancer and anti diabetics so these are the following methods also another safety evaluation sir not going for the animal and human before for that this is how the in silico method also will be available but in most of the cases we are have to go for the in silico cell culture method also they are going and also for uh, uh, most of the cases they are going for panda in china also they are going for panda and also for monkeys so we are in china in shanghai jyotir university we are using a monkeys chimpanzees we are using but for that we have to go for the clinical ethics committee in the other institutions and final thing is a lead optimization that is a final steps that is called to make the lead compounds safer and more uh, uh, to be safer and more effective how the disc uh, drug discovery and development a case for example if i am focusing on the some uh, anti diabetic means i have to identify the disease okay i want to focusing on the anti diabetic so i have to isolate some of the protein the nemtis for in these cases how many years it will take means it will take nearly for 2 to 5 years my dear students and my dear friends don't think that finding a drug discovery it is not easy it will take nearly for 10 years more than 10 years it will take if you go, if you uh, if you want to go for the patent also you have to stagnate we have to go for nearly we have to spend nearly for 12 years or 13 years exactly i can say that 15 years if you are just having the drug in your hand as a new drug means it will take nearly 15 years so first thing is you have to identify the disease for this you have to focusing on which protein you have to focusing on that for the particular disease then you have to do some pre clinical testing that it will take for 1 to 3 years then if you find this drug is effective against the disease proteins means to confirm that in in silico work or in animal work it will take nearly for 2 to 5 years 
then only it will come for the scaling process i mean the marketing process i mean another the uh, pharma pharmacy or pa, uh, pharma company right that is called formulation then you have to go for patent so if you find for any drug uh, that will affect against the uh, again the animal or uh, animal model or in silicon model or in vivo model if it is a uh, filed it is approved by fda means then you can go for the patent and after the patent on after the fda approved only it will come for the clinical trials that itself will take for a two to ten years so from the process of uh, identifying disease to the clinical trials it will take for how much is it ten years after ten years then you have to give your formula then you have to give your formulation to the pharma companies then they will get the approval from the drug formulation from the government of india then they have will have the tablet or syrup or in in drug in any other format or as a injection so it will take for nearly 2 to 3 years so the entire drug discovery and development process will take for 10 to 15 years so this is the basic steps so you should we should not think that okay we are just we are, if you are having any stomach pain or fever we are just going for the pharmacy and we are getting some drug right antibiotic drug or anything for example insulin or supplementations you know that supplementation antibiotic drug you should think that it will take for nearly for now we are in your hand it will take nearly for a 10 years to reach us so let's come to the i told that no what are the clinical trials for the clinical trials we have to first for phase one phase two and phase three now come to the phase one trials that is called phase one trials if you can say that healthy volunteers so the information is very very safety you should obtain the information safety and the dose is also to be very notified and you have to choose the subject for the trial nearly 20 to hundreds and how much month it will take months it will take for nearly six to 18 months so if a patient receives a single dose of the drug based upon the end uh, uh, based upon your LD, uh, LD50, uh, LD50 means, I mean, max and taller dose also, in cell culture also, or in the drug also, also, based upon the animal to toxicology, uh, toxicology studies, is very, very important. And we have to notify whether it, if you're giving the LD50 or anything, means we have to notify how much the single dose you have any side effects, whether it determined or not. You have to know whether any side effects is in animal or not. If you have any side effects, for example, paralysis or anything means definitely in the clinical trials itself, it will stop. So, so many of tragedy are focusing on drug discovery. For example, if I'm having some, for example, I can say uh, my experience. When I did my experiment in in vivo, in animal studies, I got good results. When I'm just confirmed in a cancer cell lines, I didn't get any good results. So the clinical ethical committee, they told that it's a drug formulation is in a human or in an animal. It is not supported. If in animal model, it is not supported in human model also, it is not, it would work. So I just confirmed, they told that to confirm in a cell line. In cell line, I didn't get any effect. So they told that this drug dose, what I get from the, my field is tissue regeneration. So I identify the alpha analyze enzymes. I want to test in that wound healing effects. When I just tested the animal, I got the good result. But when I'm tested in the cell line, I mean, quark cell line, skin cell line, I didn't get any uh, uh, effects because the dose variance is varied. So my clinical trials at the first step itself is stopped. So this is uh, how the clinical trials persons who are doing the research in the uh, drug discovery, in the first phase itself, the 40% of the drugs will be failed. So the second phase is uh, patients with the disease. So first phase is, is the healthy volunteers and second phase is the patient with the disease. So this uh, information, uh, the, this information will obtain on the efficiency, side effects and possible risks. How many patients should be used, utilized means nearly 100 to 500 patients can be utilized. How many months means it will take nearly six months to two to three years. But most probably 60, 62% of phase one drugs are filed in phase two trials. Maybe this is very, very critical, my, my friends, this is very, very critical because identifying the new product just coming for the drug discovery, then going for the clinical trials and going for in silica wars. When a clinical trial is success, when you come for the phase two, you didn't get any good results, whether it's the efficiency low. For example, if you, if you lose your efficiency means 
efficiency if you lose the efficiency of the drug of a protein or peptide means definitely i'm sorry that nk process will be waste so that most of the scientists in the drug discovery they will face this face very very tragedy so the five the third phase is uh, clearly at the, the the third phase is a patient with the disease that is called phase three this is also another so here thousand to five hundred patients are used for the trial so how many years it will take means it will take nearly two to four years usually we are taking randomized uh, uh, patients for this and we can compare the new drug with the uh, known drug for example uh, for example, we are we are taking some penicillin the known drug means we have to choose with the unknown drug then only we have to know whether the drug combination with the known drug with the unknown drug is having effect or not for in this cases we have to choose 1000 to 500 patients in the trial definitely i am saying that for this we have to get the concern form from the patients without the concern form from the patients or from the human being i am saying the human being it won't be possible so in cases if i am getting concern form whether it will, I told that it will take two to four years. No, if the person is dead, the entire record is will be again. We have to carry out the new drugs, product, or new methodology in another patient. If a person is dead, means the what we are carried out nearly for two to four years, uh, the data will be is based because the body metabolism cannot be able to, uh, it cannot be able to support another body metabolism. Means so, we have to go for another trial, new trial with new man. So in these cases also, 40% of the drugs failed in the phase three. So all the phases we are having the problem. One is the nature, another is the situation, another is the patient concern. That is very, very important. So next is how the new drug applications. When you find the new drug, how to submit? We have to submit to the FDA. Federal, uh, it is called the Food Federal Administrations. So this, uh, this for FDA, you have to be some when you are just submitting your application, they will ask the entire phases, the phase one, phase two, phase three. This is the clinical phase you are done. No, you have to submit your entire data, including plus or minus, including what you add, how you are made, how you did your purification, how you choose the method how you choose the sample resources, whether they, this uh, sample resources are having any clinical data before in any other diseases. So summary of the natural work, that only I told that pre-knowledge is very, very important for doing the research in the drug discovery. And another thing is additional data on pre-clinical pre -clinical drug substance and product manufacturing and animal studies. This all the things, what you did in your clinical research, you have to submit. And another thing is a clinical trial research that can be done in the human being. I told that phase one, phase two, phase three definitely will take for two to three years. That all the clinical trials with positive and negative, we have to submit to the FDA without any uh, without uh, without any malification. That is very very important. Then NDA, I mean the new drug applications can kind of up to fifteen different sections. So these are the sections. First is index, then summary. Then in the sample collection, labeling, packing, human pharmacokinetics, and the microbiology department, safety report, and statistical report, and case report application, case report of uh, uh, pattern information, pattern clarification, certification, and regarding what are the things you added, everything. So one new drug application that is called NDA may be nearly be nearly be thousands thousands of pages will be there. So after you get the FDA approval, then what is the next? You have to go for phase four clinical trials. That is called post marketing. Some approval drugs may need some additional studies. So after it is that market as a part of NDA approval. So after the uh, approval from the uh, NDA, it can for the phase four clinical studies. What is the reason means? Because you determine you did your studies long term risk and you get the, some benefits to the human beings. Then next is you are fixing on some uh, target of diseases. So you are fixing means it is determined this whether it is effective against any other diseases. For example, if I'm focusing on antimicrobial activity means that can be also be useful for the antiviral. So you can also submit uh, any other other relevant uh, to the other diseases. 
and test against the different drug products i told that now maybe as a tablet or syrups but when you are just testing your product new products as a new compound or lead compounds that should be compared with the known compounds for example penicillin streptomycin and other the new for example ponlitov and like benitov these are the known drug no that you have to drug whether if you are saying that it is having antimicrobial activity means you have to compare the same antimicrobial activity which is reported by some other persons or some other pharma company to show that the same thing should be the effect should be that the similar to your new product so after the all this first four clinical trials over it come for the first marketing surveillance that is mean to the company sites so the pharma companies will continue to monitor the drug and submit the reports again to the fda whether it is your clinical trials from phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 for is true or not they will again continue if you are get if they are getting the same result what you have done means it is okay they can approve to the they can submit they can they can also giving the clarification and the certification to the fda that they are, what you are did done in your research is good and it is approval so this are the cases this should be done by the company then also it includes some cases of adverse effects they will also test in some of the adverse effects and data analyze it to determine any other major problems which could be change use or labeling for example in a company also for example in laboratory countries i told that no from the lab to bottle from the from the small thing to the how to be a bottle from the liquid to bottle means so how it be done so based upon the data analysis is on some some when they did some uh, uh, the research they will also have some major problem due to the lab uh, lab uh, lab contamination or handlings so in this cases also the the drug pharma company they will just check out the whether what are the process you are carried out so in this cases only the drugs are taken up from the market for from for, for uh, by, from the following phase 1 phase 2 phase 4 then it will come for the nd approach then after that it will come for the post marketing in post marketing the companies will just go for all the effects on all the what are the clinical so you done in the phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 they will again repeat in the in the for pharma company and they will give report to the fda so this cases only drug is come to the market so this why i am saying that means my our concept of the title is bio natural but we have to know how the natural processes come to the market then only you have to know what are the resources so in this cases only this information will be very useful for the those who are doing the research in the biotech natural products just come to the point eh? how the natural products are developed how it can be classified i can say that that the sources are coming from plant animal microbial marine and venom and toxins this is very very important so before the all the slides i told that how the drug coming from the from the laboratory to the company and company to the market now how they are taking okay sir you are taking that phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 how what are the resources how how they are taking what are the implements what are the importance of this plant animal microbial for the bioactive natural products so what is the role of the traditional plants in the drug discovery i am going to talk about here the plants bioactive plants in the drug discovery so you all know that plants have the long history of use in the treatment of cancer though the many of the claims for the efficiency of the treatment could be viewed with some specimens or some skepticisms for example the plant based systems continue to play essential role in the health discovery i told that now what we are taking the herbs and also leaves and the green leaves uh, uh, or routine life in our life it is it contains some of the flavonoids and contains some of the bioactive compounds so it is also the essential role in the health risk it is playing an important role sir. so the world health organization who estimated that in 1885 that approximately 65% of the population of the world is predominantly related to the plant derived uh, medicines because most of the who products are recommend only the herbal products i told that no china india and all, now the india uh, now focusing on green tea right now we are taking some green tea but in most cases uh, uh, in chinese persons all the world peoples will take only the rose tea herbal tea and uh, all the green leaves uh, which gives some antioxidants it contains all the plant derived medicines so this is one of the primary health care for the human beings wich also recommended this in 1985 that 65 population should be led to the plant derived 
properties i mean traditional medicine sir so this plant no kantara uh, rosa is uh, so this plant uh, you all know that nitya kalyani we have that uh, in tamil name i can say that kallari pookal so here this plant can seen in uh, all over the home and all over the world also maybe uh, in pondicherry most of the cases if you just cross the road or in the, in, in, the, in the in the middle of the road they will have this plant nitya kalyani dinam dinam pookra or pookal solvanga you know that we are just thinking that it is a, is a, is a plant but how you can see that what is a compound in blast so this can be used as an anti diabetic anti diabetic they are using as injection so from this plant even this the root tip flower stem all the things having the biomedical properties so the, our important seminar is to a conference is natural products and drug discovery prospects how the drug discovery or what are the drugs are written from the natural products so i can say some few example known known example is nitya kalyani so this is called a pre winkle flower it having a yellow and a rose a white color and all so i can say that if you see this flower you can say that it is a anti diabetic drug what is the drug injection means in blast so another anti myocardial agency is the uh we can see that this are the following plants maybe it is it occurs in the uh ooty and uh, some other uh, area i mean the cool place so you can say that uh, it is having some of the artemisinum so it is anti malarial drug anti malarial drug if you having some uh, i think when you are when you having the uh, uh, uh during the winter something session we having some anti malaria right malaria session means so using the drugs maxarquine so this drugs are coming from this plants and it is also having the good antimicrobial activity also and another is ami visenka this is idli pool solvanga idu vaga idli pool solvanga it is also called way in diabetes patients uh, our for, our fathers our grandfathers are using a metformin so metformin we are using this one anti diabetic drug so you can you can see that uh, from the plant resources how the drug product came how we are using how we are taking i'm not going for it so much of it because as a master degree as a phd student we have to know the basic we have to, we are seeing the andrada vaalkala we are seeing the known we are seeing daily basis this all the seeing in our, our eye right so this of the natural products having we are, eating, we are taking as a tablet now it is in our hand as a as a as a drug right so mid form is from the Uh, this is uh, ami visenga that is called idli pool nu solranga indha indha vis idli pool la vende idhu meri idhu kuda ungalku product kadaikudhu so this this flower uh, papaya i am not a well known botany so i am not well versed so i am saying that uh, this contains some uh, vera famil it is contained used for the hypertension it is available as a injection model so this is also one of the compound lead compound from this flower so let's come to the animal resources so this are the plant resources are known for example in plant resources also i can say murungamaram and varaka uh, and we are using banana tree moranga leaves and the stems everything here, it is so known but I, i want to say that uh, come to the direct product no so metformin anti malarial drug these are the good example for this uh, uh, plant processes my dear friends if you are focusing on plant or as a drug discovery process means i can say that uh, the plant contains so much of flower lines right so you can focusing on flower nodes or other the secondary metabolites so let's come to the animal processes so animals can sometimes be a source of new plasmal active uh, natural products so we can go for a uh, few examples so the first example is, is a, a frog is african frog skin contains a tiny poisons so ecuador right so the, i can say one thing uh, as a one word in a marine or in a nature or a forest the organism or a animal or a plant which contain the colorful 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 appearance uh, it contains a toxin venomous for this one the frog no it contains some uh, skin secretions which contain some tiny poisons now it is used as a in the market it is used as a anesthetic drug and it is also used as a promethical drug for the cancer 
so what are the another resources for the animals uh, there is a notable discovery that uh, uh, the uh, for this insulin we, our fathers are using some insulin right so the, if the blood sugar is low they are using some insulin i mean injectable medicine to improve your glucose the blood sugar level in a type 2 uh, patients uh. so in this cases they are, we are using some liquid is there no some liquid insulin in the liquids so this products are coming from this animals xr uh, xanitide so this is one of the uh, organism animals uh. hello drama sarpatam you can just type in this is a monster is look like a monster in tamil name we can say that uh, aranen arana aranen solvanga tamil local name aranen solvanga so this a kind of animals i see here this will look very colorful right so the, i told that uh, in some cases my professor indicate to me that those uh, organisms will look very colorful will contain some uh, toxin and venomous so from this animals we can getting some injectable medicines that is called uh, insulin secretion for the diabetic patients so spider so spider also which contain some of medical uh, treatments which treat for a uh, cardiac diseases or cerebral uh, problems so what is a particular uh, toxic means a uh, product means a uh, phka toxin it is obtained from the venom of the spiders which contains some uh, uh, it is used for the cardiac uh, diseases and also i don't know what are the any animal means you know the uh, uh, blue scorpion and red scorpion and in our indian scorpion also we are getting some of the the venom is present on the tip of the tail right so it's a endemic species and it is also contain uh, uh, so much of uh, anti cancer activities for to cure uh, uh, the more anti cancer diseases for the at the severe stage we are using this drug so most of the animal resources which contain the toxin in the body it contain the active component that is called a drug which is collectively called as a drug component for the drug discovery what are the animals we all know that uh, we are in a, a, a snake right this is one of the particular two snake in africa black mamba which contains uh, so many bacteria compounds you all know that uh, the snake venom contains so much of active peptides and active uh, active uh, uh, proteins also will be there so it will be used for the treatment of a uh, high highly curable for uh, for example uh, a pain killer and also for example for the uh, skin diseases i think for the uh, 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 our indian snake i mean uh, naha that contains also naha naha it contain also so much venomous uh, and will be treat it will treat as as a uh, anti cancer so let's come to the organisms which are how it played in the drug discoveries so in organism penicillin at that time is all other is it, uh, it is a uh, discovered in 1928 it is having the broad therapeutic use of uh, agent in the 1940s it is converted so is a it is a gold age of antibodies right and promoted intensity intensive investigation of nature as a resource of a new bioactive agents so still now we are using the penicillin so it is all know that it is invented by alexander fleming so after that what are the main uh, microorganisms in the drug discovery cephalosporins cephalomycins these are the following uh, drugs which is available in our uh, markets for uh, antibiotics such as uh, penicillin cephalosporins uh, aminoglycates tetracyclines palicated these are the drugs are obtained from the microorganisms so microorganism profile contains structurally the bioactive metaplates and having so much of bioactive products for the pharmaceutical industry you know that compared to the bioactive natural products from the animals and the plant microorganisms are play the wild roles because our body contains also so much of active bacteria we are having having active bacteria inside our intestines so it uh, it is also uh, producing some of the active enzymes right so i am saying that microorganisms is one of the part of our drug and also it is one of the good components for the to cure the diseases we all know that penicillin also penicillin cephalosporins amloglycins are the important commons we are using for the anti pain anti uh, anti pain killer and also using for the antibiotic so this is one of the important sources and what are another so cypher cyclosporin no this is this is obtained from the trichomata this is from marine organisms in the microorganisms and rapamycin cephalosporin uh, mycin species we are obtaining this uh, this kind of medicines so most cases my my students 
we all know that microorganisms i can say microorganisms can use as a drug discovery but why i have mentioned is a picture as a drug means we have to know because these drugs are common drugs which are available in a market that can be utilized for our fathers and also for us if you are having any suffering any fever or anything that definitely the doctor uh, doctor can just in the uh, just the suggest to write this medicine sir, to take it to our body so to have to have the anti diabetic or as a anti inflammatory as anti viral disease means this is support for this uh, drugs so these are the main of the role or uh, role of the microorganism in the drug discovery sir so another thing is a uh, cholesterol lowering agents for example sir meavastins and this is a pen, uh, is a penicillin species and lovastin it is from the aspergillus species so this kind of the drugs are obtained from this uh, microorganisms so this was a compound structure i am just indicated here figures and another thing is the uh, anti tumor so anti tumor antibiotics are the one of the most important anti cancer chemotherapy agents which includes the number of anthracyclines and also streptocyclines and sporins so much of the components and so much of the active uh, drugs are obtained from the microorganism for example biomycin mitomycin sir. this all used for the anti tumor antibiotics sir. my dear students i can say that only the name of the product and name of the organism so why i initiated that i have just initiated as a picture means definitely if you go for the medical shop you can say that uh, mitomycin sir. below my means we can you can just have a spot that this product is come from the microorganism as a drug discovery i am saying that for all the drug discovery once again i am saying that to the market for example to as a bottle it will take nearly 10 years sir. then come to the microorganisms uh, in the drug discovery so i can say that the oceans contain nearly 70% of the air surface and for the oceans nearly contain nearly 3000 new metabolites are there from the microorganisms nearly 1003 new compounds are uh, obtained and they have identified and they published in the 2010 now it is increased as the 3000 new compounds in 2018 but uh, 2020 it is not updated soon it will be updated at the month of the at uh, the end of the year so i can go for shortly right so the uh, for the drug discovery for the marine organisms i can share some of the figures because i am having more more figures of the marine organism because the ocean is covered with 70% of the uh, water so you can say that this is a conus we yeah, this is conus contains some venom toxins nearly it contains nearly 700 species are there so i am down to want to be go much more as a biology so i want to say that what are the types of the uh, conus vermico vermico is there mollusk is there so what is a drug product come from means conotoxin sir that is called xenotoid which is obtained from the conus magus it is it is one of the important drug for used for the receptors and antennas for the nervous problems also they are using and it is used to block the chronic pain killer it is used as a pain killer in the patients and it is also used to uh, treat as a cancer and aids and it is very very powerful and effectiveness higher than the other the drugs and it is also very very uh, toxic for if you take more than means it will definitely it will, uh, it will uh, damage our nervous systems so what are the drugs which are available in pharmaceutical companies means i can show that uh, for the cancer it is obtained from the sponges for the coronic pain it is obtained from the conus conus magus for the spine again breast cancer halloween it is obtained from the sponges for rsc it is used to treat as a leukemia disease it is obtained from the also marine sponges for uh, leukemia disease for the glucose for uh, the sugar tablet this is for fish liver oil most of the cases our parents are taking the fish liver oil i mean omega 3 fatty acids as a diabetic patients they will take omega fatty three acids i told that no recently covid uh, co co for the covid disease also they have identified some of the lead compounds from the marine sponges soon it will be come to the clinical trials so for the marine sponges i said that it is contains some anti diabetic anti obesity these are the active components i mean uh, activity so i'm uh, before that i'm saying that what are the drugs are present in the commercial use which is available in the market let's come to that sir you are telling us we are telling about uh, plant animal and marine how it is come to the market how do i tell i tell about the phases 3 and phase everything you know this is a very good examples so now the forward pharmacals approach at current being how they are taking means they are just inducing the this uh, drug directed to the human and after that they are seeing the functional activity in in vivo and in vitro tests i mean the extract of the natural products 
and they find in the lead compounds then come to the in silico verse nothing but target identification these are the following methods just i'm saying as a diagnostic manner so what is the reverse pharmacological method means from the pharma in silico method then identifying the lead compound and testing the compounds related in the animal then from the animal sacrificing the animal taking the lead active compounds and interact and target with the and interact with the targeting proteins then come for the in silico work then given for the animal and human this is called the another reverse pharmacological method which is used as a functional activity in in vivo and in vitro method so okay if you are, this is for the focusing of a target method if you focus for an untarget method but means you have to design your experimental design with a well pre knowledge and well designed with your supervisor then you have to go for sample preparation then if after sample preparation we have to go for analysis i mean purification isolation by using nmr then you have to come for the hypothesis then you have to go for the uh, validation that for the market analysis this is for un untarget and identify flows So let's turn to the conclusions that so natural products and the derivatives have historically been in, uh, in valuable as a source of therapeutic agents. In the past decade, research into the natural products in pharmaceutical industries has declined, owing to issues such as lack of compatibility of uh, traditional natural product extracts, library with a high throughput screening. So recent technological advances that help to address these issues. coupled with unrealized expectation from current lead generation statistics i have to leave to renew the interest in the natural products in the drug discovery finally the various screening approaches are being developed to improve the case with the natural products that can be used in the drug discovery champions champions and then data mining and virtual skin techniques and also being applied to the database of natural product that is called from the animal studies to the in silico approach that is the same in the simple words so it is hope that more efficient and effective application of natural products will improve the drug process in future and also it will be improved for our human beings also that is very very for what all you are doing the research that be implement for our human beings so this figure shows that this graph shows that uh, you can say that in this is a world uh, is a world map so you can say that uh, sir how the natural products are utilized in all over the world so high you know that in america in other the european countries it is very very high in, in you can see it is a mild it is low in our in our, in our india also i am focusing only on india in china also they are focusing only on mild it, uh, it is very very low but in european countries also it is very high but in america and north and canada also it is the utilized low because they are focusing on instrumentation and they focusing on insecure works so this is uh, one of the important information i have to share this is the current status of the global health which uh, those countries are using the bio uh, bio natural products as a drug discovery so i am saying that it is not a end of the era but it is an endless fortuner so this is the reference i'm just uh, i included for our uh, webinar because if you want to go for deep more clear if you want to get more information you can go for this one so at last last but not least i want to say to my students our beloved honorable late president abdul kalam rightly said that without your involvement you cannot able to succeed so with your involvement you cannot able to fight so i can say the once again in my in my style without your involvement in your research definitely i can say that you cannot able to succeed with your involvement in your research definitely you cannot fail you can reach a good level as a future i wish you all the success thank you